here is the circuit. Now, down here, the red part is what we do to input values. And the top four values correspond to A and the bottom four values correspond to B. But if you remember correctly, we don't use the fourth bit, the last bit for data calculation. We only use the first three bits, okay? And I'll explain why this happens later. It explains it with subtraction. Sorry about that, but camera keeps moving. Okay. And in the same thing. It's called what it's what we call a signed bit. And the signed bit means that if the when we uh, you know expand this all the way to up to eight bits, the if the eighth bit is one, the number is negative. If the eighth bit is zero, the number is positive. And so for example, if we do a is 1 and B is 1 okay the value is 2 great second LED lights up um, by the way this is first bit second bit third bit fourth bit okay signed bit um, second LED lights up so addition is working but now we're going to do subtraction right so let's just show this for example uh, 1 minus 1 is 0. Great. That works. Okay. And now what about 1 minus 0? 1. Great. But now let's try negative numbers. Okay. Now for negative numbers we should expect one thing. Okay. We should expect this last bit to light up. Okay, so if we do a is 0 and b is 1, okay, adding, they are 1, subtracting, they're this weird thing, 1, 1, 1, 1. All of 4 bits are 1, but this does give us our 1 condition, which was that this 4th bit must be 1, because we know 0 minus 1 is negative, so the 4th bit, assuming that it is the sign bit, should be on, and it is. Now let's explain this with binary. Okay, there's not an easy thing to understand here. Okay, um, so whoops, drop something. All right. So when we did, uh, I'm just gonna do calculation with four bits because that makes things a little bit easier. So when we did, uh, what did we do? Zero zero. 0, 0, minus 0, 0, 0, 1. And we know that doing subtraction means you do two things. To convert from positive numbers to negative numbers, you invert, then add 1. Okay, so let's do that. So 0, 0, 0, 1 becomes uh, 1, 1, 1, 0, and then you add uh, 1, so plus 1, and that equals 1, 1, 1. Great. So this is equal to the value, this is equal to the binary value of negative 1. Okay, this is an important concept that you must understand, that this same thing represents negative 1. Now, I know you could say, oh, this is 15 in binary, right? No, that is for an unsigned bit. For an unsigned bit, this is, for, this is 15. But for a signed bit, this is negative 1. So in a, signed, in a normal uh, value case, in a normal unsigned bit, you can have values from 0 all the way up to 255 for unsigned, okay? I'm sorry that my handwriting is god-awful. But for a signed bit, okay, you can have values from negative 127 to positive 127. Okay, now if you pay attention, this is equal to the same thing. This is equal to 255 possible values. It's just that half of those values are now negative and half of those values are now positive. Okay, so this is equal to negative one in signed system. In an unsigned system, this is equal to 15. Now, if we take this number, we know that addition A minus B is equal to the same thing as A plus negative B, right? 
this is equal to the same thing. So now we have negative b, right? We have negative b, which is this. This 1, 1, 1, 1 is negative b. So now we have to do 0, 0, 0, 0 plus 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay? Because this is negative and this is addition, right? We have the negative value of b and we're adding that to a. So if we actually do this addition, we get 1, 1, 1, 1. Nothing we're too exciting. But this is exactly what we got in our breadboard. This is the exact same thing that we got in our breadboard. Okay? So 0 minus 1 is equal to 15 in an unsigned bit or negative 1 in a signed value system. And this is what computers use, a signed value system. So normally they have 8 bits, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 right? Where this 8th bit here corresponds to positive or negative. 0 equals plus, 1 equals minus. So the value we have here is 1. So we know this, first of all, is a negative number. So to the computer, this value right here is equal to negative 1. So say you did um, do a minus b plus c, where a is equal to 0, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to 2. So we know that 0 minus 1 plus 2 is equal to 1. Right? So that's the answer we expect to get out. 1. Now we already figured out what 0 minus what a 0 minus 1 is, right? It's this number right here. So let's add that to 2. And we know that's 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay? Now pay attention to what happens here. This is very interesting. We get 1 0, carry the 1, 0, 1, 0, carry the 1, 1. Now normally we'd extend it all the way to 8 bits, but obviously the rest of the values in between 4 and 8 would be 1, and so it would just continue on. And what we get is the value after the last bit, in our case the fourth bit, is 1. But here's the thing, the computer only has space for 8 bits. So this ninth bit here, all of this junk after the 8th bit, no one cares. It doesn't matter. The computer doesn't read it. Because this right here is unknown territory to the computer. This value, it only has space and memory allocation for 8 bits. So this ninth bit does not get stored. So technically this ninth bit doesn't exist. So we get 1. Amazing, right? And this is how computers calculate data. This same circuit that we've built here can now actually add and subtract and we can choose when and which time we want to do it. And that's amazing. Yeah, so memory, memory is actually going to be next, so we'll take it, um, we'll take what we've done here and be able to store it to memory. Which is actually going to be pretty cool, so please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to see more like this. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.